He was one of Hollywood's biggest stars before becoming the center of enormous controversy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the career of Hollywood actor and director Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson was born on January 3, 1956, in Peekskill, New York, before his family moved to Sydney, Australia, when he was just 12 years old. In his youth, he contemplated joining the priesthood or studying journalism. However, he settled on a job at an orange juice bottling plant. Fortunately, his sister took it upon herself to enroll him at the Institute of Dramatic Arts due to his hidden talent for doing impersonations and his ability to reproduce realistic accents. So. <laughs> How many head of cattle have you got? Upon completing his training, Gibson worked on several Australian stage plays and media productions. He achieved instant mainstream and international fame with the release of 1979's dystopian action film Mad Max. As a result, he was cast as the lead in the critically acclaimed World War I film Gallipoli, which earned him a Best Actor award from the Australian Film Institute and cemented his reputation as a serious and versatile performer. In 1984, Gibson starred opposite Anthony Hopkins in The Bounty. During filming, the cast engaged in serious drinking sessions. He subsequently returned to his family with an alcohol addiction, which proved difficult for him to overcome. Get your hands off him! Now! Despite his personal troubles, his Hollywood career was taking off with his quick adoption of an American accent, which he introduced in The River, a drama in which he co-starred alongside Sissy Spacek as struggling Tennessee farmers. All I got was growing in these fields. Gibson simultaneously saw huge success with his two sequels to Mad Max. 1985's Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome caused his salary to soar to the million dollar mark and earned him the title of Sexiest Man Alive by People magazine. Despite the popularity of the role, the part that would forever cement Gibson as an American Hollywood star was that of the loose cannon Martin Riggs in 1989's Lethal Weapon, a role that he would revisit three more times during his career. Yeah, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> Throughout the 90s, Gibson remained a compelling force at the box office with a string of hits, including Air America, Bird on a Wire, Forever Young, Maverick, Ransom, Conspiracy Theory, and even as the bad guy in Payback. However, his biggest accomplishment of the decade was the result of his directorial debut with 1993's The Man Without a Face. The project led to Gibson forming his own production company called Icon, which he used to produce, star, and direct his 1995 epic Braveheart. That film earned several Oscars, including that of Best Director, and made Mel Gibson Hollywood's biggest star. Are you ready for a war? His star power would comfortably carry him into the new millennium, with all three of his films in 2000 grossing over $100 million. These box office draws consisted of the American Revolutionary War epic The Patriot, the offbeat romantic comedy What Women Want, and as the charming voiceover of Rocky in the stop-motion animated feature Chicken Run. Ironically, shortly following his overwhelming box office success in M. Night Shyamalan's Signs, in which he played a priest who had lost his faith, Mel Gibson became the subject of intense controversy with the release of his deeply personal religious project The Passion of the Christ in 2004. The result was a public and Hollywood uproar over the perception that the film was anti-Semitic. It is possible for people who are not even Christian to get into the kingdom of heaven. It's just easier for, and I have to say that because that's what I believe. Remarkably, the controversy became a powerful marketing tool and the film set a new record for pre-sales and became the number one film in America taking in $850 million. Gibson's follow-up project again landed him in the director's chair for Apocalypto, an epic set at the end of the Mayan civilization. Unflinchingly, it became a hit despite coinciding with media coverage of Gibson's second arrest for impaired driving and further anti-Semitic backlash following his drunken remarks to a police officer. Despite his battered public image and new focus on directing, Mel Gibson has returned to acting in the film adaptation of the BBC television series Edge of Darkness, in which he plays the role of a detective investigating the death of his own daughter. This marks his first starring role in eight years and new focus on rekindling his former Hollywood status. You had better decide whether you're hanging on the cross or banging in the nails. 